now I want to give this very short introduction about this type of yoga, or this yoga, which is called Agama. So Agama means tantras. In the ancient Hindu text, the Agamas and the tantras are equivalent. But don't use the word tantra so much, because sometimes so many contexts which are like very new age and very sexual, and very thin, thing like that. Ultimately, what the, di- the di- basic difference between tantra and, and whatever else out there is that there were like basically two sco- schools of thought in India. One is called kind of under tantra, and the other one is under what I would call Advaita. And the Advaita idea was about the, the universe is all kind of a stinky illusion. It's called Maya, a very bad dream, like a nightmarish dream. And the whole point in life is to tear the veil of Maya, so you see the absolute truth. It's call it God, call it a, a Nirvana, whatever. They have different names for it and different philosophical views. However, that was the idea. While Tantra saw everything in this world as a step stone to get into this God or view of emptiness, again, depending on the philosophy, because they both exist in, the, in different traditions, the Jain tradition, the Hindu tradition, the Buddhist tradition. So, but it was a kind of different idea of how to look at the world. Instead of calling the world Maya, they call it Shakti, which means power. Instead of seeing it as a dirty, stinky illusion that has nothing you don't want to mess with, you only want to meditate and renunciate and live somewhere in a cave and not men dealing with the world, the world becomes kind of a, 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 a ladder to come into the ultimate divine, into the true realization. And the technology was different. Instead of learning how to, how to avoid everything in the world, they had a technology, spiritual technology, how to use everything in the world in order to get kind of spiritual. So that's basically uh, the, the fundamental thing. And all what we call Hatha Yoga today come from that. All the yoga that people do in the West is actually coming more or less from the tantric tradition, if some people don't know about it. Because uh, uh, the body, for example, is part of illusion. So those people who did Vedanta or Advaita, they were very much anti-body in a way. I mean, they didn't want to deal too much with the body, just feed it the, as little as you need. Uh, 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 Forget about it, just do this abstract meditation, nothing, natural kind of thing like that. Uh, while the tantric wanted to use the body, so they wanted to know how to um, work with the nadis, with the physical body, with, with the breathing, all of this actually is coming more from the tantric tradition and from this, to be very, very specific with the Guakshanat and the which are the yogis that come much before sort of Buddhism was introduced, and they brought the, this, uh, the tantric Hatha Yoga and Kundalini Yoga traditions. The, that's like the point of introduction. So if you go into what specifically Agama is, Agama is, is a form of yoga that includes what is called Laya Yoga, which is yoga of mantras and sounds, spiritual vibrations and shapes, using all the f- forms of the universe to kind of get into spiritual states. So it's mantras and yantras, they say what is tantra, tantra, yantra, mantra. Using yantras, using mantras, and using other elements that kind of bring in a state. Uh, uh, it's about hatha yoga, and it's about kundalini yoga. So the hatha yoga that we're going to do today is very much about, not so much about the physical body, even though it's important, but it's very much about, even the word hatha yoga, what does hatha mean? Ha is the sun, and ta is the moon. So the yogis, traditional yogis, practiced 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, they didn't really care so much about how the body looks or, or what benefit they have for the physical body. They care to balance their inner energies. Because when the sun and the moon were totally balanced, the fire and water was totally balanced, the feminine and masculine, then the energy to go, can go in the central channel, they can transcend all duality. So that's the, the aim, basically, of, of that form of yoga. Uh, and now I will go to what is the benefit that we have from that what different benefits you get from that yoga. So the idea is that every, differ, every kind of mental state or inner resource that we have is somehow connected to one of the chakras and to uh, uh, the energy flow in our nadis. Which means that if you want to generate courage, no problem. Courage is a state that is connected to the third chakra and in a specific flow of energy to the third chakra. Uh, and for example, all the martial arts of of Asia is all kind of yoga meant for the third chakra, for the heart. We call it in Japan or, or you have Tantien, which is a bit lower, but that's another story. But 
it's all about like ultimately yoga for the third chakra. And so uh, if you want to have love, if you want to have the state of unconditional love, so it's another flow of energy to the fourth chakra, to the heart chakra, and so forth. So ultimately, if you know exactly what each asana does, you can generate any resource and mental state that exists uh, and basically integrate it in your being, connect to it in your being. Because they, again, the yogi says that whatever there is inside, we are a small world, and the world is a big person. So whatever we have in the world, it is somewhere, we can find it with ourselves. We just have to uh, connect to it, and the way to connect to each other. So it's a basic, the ultimate time coach, it's the ultimate kind of coaching system, because you are lacking of love, no problem. There is the frequency of love, there is the asanas that work on love. You know how to connect to the quality of love, it's infinite out there. Then you have love, you can have as much access to love as you want. You want to have more power, you want to want center, there is a way to do it. You want to have more grounding energy, there is a way to do it. So it's kind of an offer solution to almost anything there is in the world.